<clears throat> All right, well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. Ah, dude, we're doing a vape thing. <laughs> It feels like all I've been talking about is like flavor bans, Iowa Attorney General Tom Miller, ex-FDA Commissioner Scott Godlib, the Trump administration, we vape, we vote. And while that all still definitely, definitely, definitely needs to be talked about, another thing that definitely needs to be talked about is this RDA right here from my good friend Coil Turd. This is an RDA for vaping. An RDA for vaping. A lot of people didn't understand it. It's because he had a liquid line called a liquid for vaping that I named. He, he won't tell you that, but I, I did name it. And you might be asking yourself like, oh, well, Nick, if Beecher's just such a good friend of yours, how are you possibly gonna remain objective during this review? And really, that's easy because Beecher is one of my really, really good friends, but uh, I don't care about his feelings. <gasps> I'm just kidding. I do care about his feelings, but I'm just going to be 100% completely honest because at the end of the day, I'm not doing anybody any favors by being dishonest about how I feel about an RDA. Damn, damn nice. So what I wanna do is talk about this RDA top to bottom. I'm gonna tear this build out of here. I'm gonna put a new build in here. I'm gonna re-wick it. I'm gonna be using the same liquid that I have in here currently. So I feel like I don't need to make a trip to the bathroom to rinse it out. So here's a quick look at the RDA. Mine's gonna be, yeah, a little bit juicy just because like I said, it's in the middle of getting used right now. I real quickly wanna show you what's in the box because it comes with these AFC rings that are pretty critical to the operation. You're gonna get a baggy spare thing o-rings screws there's your squonk pin and this tool which I'm gonna need to build it so you can see right here there's two airflow holes you kind of got this little notch thing right there we're gonna talk about that in the second with the airflow and then you kind of have an 810 drip tip it's a 24 millimeter diameter RDA all the way around and I'm gonna unscrew this top part right here unscrews this gives you a really good look at the airflow. So this airflow is always 100% always going to be facing your coils. There's notches in the barrel of it that match up with notches on the deck. And as you can see, he reduced the chamber on the inside down greatly, brought it way in. It is kind of truly and honestly a little bit like the OG recoil, two holes kind of angled down at your coils. But see, if I pull this ring off of here, underneath there's more holes than just two, there's three under under there. And like I said, mine's all juicy with liquid. That's fine. It's easy to wipe up. Come on. So the basic idea here is that you're going to pop on these little AFC adjustments and they kind of just lock into those two little notches. You see that happening right there? That lines them up perfectly in front of the holes that are cut and which, which then line up perfectly with your coils. So that's the two airflow holes. If you wanted to throw this one on here, this is just going to be one singular airflow hole. I've been rocking it with the two holes since basically I got it, but I started off with the three holes and I kind of want to go back to that. Just those little notches, they just lock in and line up Boom, lined up. And once you have the airflow you like, you really just don't even adjust it. Don't mess with it. Screw this back down on there. You're good. This sort of liquid covered black deck, it, uh, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be hard to see, but you can kind of see it's like a postless design. There's one big square in the middle, which is, you know, where you're gonna put your leads that has a peak insulator running through the middle. So you're gonna attach, you know, positive, negative, positive, negative. There's holes cut out in the side of the deck for your tool to get in there to those Allen screws. And you're also gonna see it's gonna squonk right through that hole right there. So I'm just gonna throw a quick build in here, wick it, juice it up, and we're gonna get back out and talk about it. Going to be using these Clouds and Coils Fralians. Got these directly from Clouds and Coils. He was at the rally, so I'm trying out his coils.
So yeah, really easy to build, really easy to wick. Uh, while I liquid this up here, I wanna give you just one little tip trick kind of thing that I do. When you're building on this, it's important to not press your coils down against that block all the way. Just give them a, a little bit of tug. They just need a little bit of space so they're not sitting directly on the block. Otherwise, you can kind of just build it like normal. I just honestly eyeballed my leads. I trimmed them. I just dropped them down in there as you saw. And in addition to lifting them up a little bit, I like to push them off to the sides a little bit. So you, you pull your leads, you know, you pull your coils up and then you kind of push them to the side, like as far as they'll go to the outer edge of the deck. You're just going to get a better vape experience all around. It's gonna place your coils closer to the airflow and it's gonna separate them away from the drip tip. Hey, vapors. And the cap can only go on one way. There's little notches for the cap. There's only one way for it to go on. It's all built, wicked, and juiced, so let's just give it a try. Great, 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 great. Really, really excellent, excellent flavor on this RDA. Coil turd really reduce the chamber in there as much as humanly possible. Your airflow comes right to your coils and the top is slammed down. It's just this little, little tiny atomization chamber in there, which means the flavor is just redonkulous. The airflow is incredibly smooth, incredibly smooth. I'm gonna shut my door, my smoke detector's gonna go off. I think the triple airflow option is actually like my favorite option of airflow on here. I was walking, I was rocking it with two holes for so long because I was like, this is just like the recoil, man. It, it feels just like the recoil. The three holes actually feels a little bit closer to the recoil. It's a little bit more open. It's still, a little bit restricted. It's a slightly restricted lung hit. The two holes gets even more restricted, and if you really want to restrict that lung down, one hole, and you will, it's, it's strict, it's restricted. Now the one singular gripe I have about this RDA isn't even necessarily exclusive to this RDA, and this gripe is why I say to push your coils as far out as you possibly can. Because when you have your coils dead center, like when you look down your drip tip and you just see two coils running parallel, it happens on this, it happens on that dang RDA, which I haven't reviewed yet, it happens on things like the dead rabbit, the dead goat, but you'll drip and you'll create like a little tide pool of liquid in between your coils and then you press the button and take a big rip on it, you're just going to get liquid in your mouth. There's kind of just no way around it. I like to purge it out a little bit or drip and kind of just wait. Or you can do the distance purge like I do sometimes where you press the button you kind of go, now you're good to go. and pushing your coils outward, outward will greatly, greatly reduce the risk of you getting any sort of like juice splatter in your mouth. Otherwise, it's rad. It's a rad RDA. It is an RDA for vaping and I get an incredibly enjoyable experience out of this RDA. Flavor, warmth, uh, voluminous cloud vapor volume. It's all there. It's, every, it's everything you need. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Links aren't allowed in the description. Thank you, YouTube. Oh wait, shit, let's play the Aliens game. All right, let's play the Aliens game or the FDA game. First, let's play Vape Budget Hands. What am I doing? Do I even know how to review anymore? Brass tacks, Vape Budget Hands. Are you gonna need your Vape Budget Hands if you wanna check out an RDA for vaping? Ah, uh, maybe a little bit. It's not crazy ridiculously priced. It's right around $60, which is kind of that, you know, you're gonna need your Vape Budget Hands, but it doesn't seem so ridiculous. It's kind of like in the middle, medium, medium, part of the of the price curve anyway that's what I got for today everybody thank you guys seriously so much for watching and remember no matter what any crooked politician tells you yeah absolutely keep on vaping keep it up